So here in the front, we're going to have Opix, Hunter, Real Deal, and Vulcan. Is Fireball in this one, or is he just trolling there in the back? So he is in this one. So Fireball is going to be in fifth. So we're going to have a five-man five man splits. Or no, it's going to be a five-man heat and a four-man heat. So here we have the five-man heat. And remember, all drivers remaining have two lives left. So we, we are going to see a driver lose a life here. Guaranteed. I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> What I really wanted to say is nobody, nobody's in jeopardy of getting eliminated here. We, we were going to see a driver lose a life, but nobody's going to get eliminated. So, Still a lot of pressure, right? You don't, you don't want to be the driver, the first driver to go a life down now that we're in this, in this uh, like final, final set of drivers here. But at the same time, no one's getting eliminated this race. That's real deal. Going for the early lead. Ooh, and that section is tough for new people. They did not see that coming. Oh my god, you'd love to see that. That was let me get a better view of that. That is a definite get caught. I might have to make a gif out of that one. <laughs> that was that was so bad. Should do like this. Or uh <laughs> So yeah, um, a lot of the drivers, you know, they didn't get to see the track, and uh, I, I think I'm gonna have to gift that one. Um, a lot of the drivers did not get to see the track, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a rough start for them, not not seeing that corner coming. Um, so that's gonna throw a few drivers uh, far back in the pack right off the bat. Um, early on, we are gonna see uh, real deal in the lead here. Fireball, I believe, in second. Hunter, Opix, and is it Vulcan? It is Vulcan. So Vulcan, I feel like for like the third race in a row, is in jeopardy of losing a life. Is he actually gonna lose one now? Because he's kind of he's kind of gotten away with it for a few times now. I think this is the time where he's actually gonna lose one. Wow, nice tree. <laughs> Hunter did. Oh, really? I'm gonna have to look out for that. So you can see those two drivers. Oh my God, Hunter! <laughs> you, you see the the rest of the pack. You know they they were ready for it. Oh my God, is Hunter gonna? Oh my god, bro, you can't do that. You can't do that. Oh no, now Hunter's in jeopardy of losing a life. Oh no, you, come on, man. Hunter, you know it's coming. That is not a B-tier driver move. That is like an E-tier driver move right there, Hunter. Come on, I might have to drop you down on the list a little bit. That is definitely, Hunter, that was definitely not supporting your list position. I may have to revise. But there are still laps left, and, um... Still time for him to make a move. That is going to put Vulcan in a better position. Um, but like I said, there is still a chance for a comeback. If Hunter can actually slow down this time, there is a chance for a comeback. How's that lead battle going now? Oh, Real Deal and Fireball are pretty close. So we have to keep our eyes on that. They're actually going at it. Opix trying to hold a solid third place. Vulcan! Ah, that's tough. Not the greatest run, you know. Not, not too bad. Not as bad as Hunter, but... Not the greatest. And Hunt... Oh, okay. Yeah. And we'll just uh, do uh, two more skill points right there. Negative two more skill points. And uh, we'll move on. Real Dylan uh, Fireball. Really good lead battle here. Let's keep our eyes on this for a second. Oh, that might be it. There it is. Fireball with the aggressive move. Real Dill left the door open. But not going to be able to make the pass. Not going to be able to make the pass. Let's see if Fireball can set him up here. Going into the chicane, can he do anything? He's got a lot of speed. Oh, he turned super hard, but Real Deal ends up messing up and kind of hands it to him. If Real Deal ran that clean, he would have had that just fine. Fireball turned way too hard into it. But Real Deal makes a mistake. Fireball takes advantage. And Fireball's going to take the lead. He's going to try to get his second win of the tournament here. Try to t uh, tie Detail and Luke with those uh, the top spots of the wins there. Definitely already potentially a more competitive tournament so far um, in terms of the wins we could see the same thing as last time where it ends up being like a three-man show in terms of the wins but remember real deal got a ton of dubs in the last elimination tournament when is he gonna wake up here and get a bond we'll have to see Oh, Fireball with the mistake of the chicane. This opens it up. Can Real Deal get his first win of the tournament here? 
He's going to take the lead back. Fireball's now going to have to try to regain it. How is that... How are Hunter and Vulcan doing real quick? What, yo, where are they? There's Hunter. Dude, what happened to Vulcan? Did he rage quit? Bro. Did Vulcan quit? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did something happen to... I'm going to have to rewatch that. Let me see the time. Okay. I'm going to have to rewatch that. We'll, we'll watch the... We'll watch the rest of this of this uh, top battle, and then I want to see I want to see what happened. I want to see what happened to Vulcan, because I, I I honestly don't remember. I literally have zero recollection. Wow. Well, while uh, Real Deal and Fireball are cheesing so much up front, Opix is kind of low key making gains. He's not too far behind in third, just running a clean race, and it is working out for him so far. Oh, Real Deal. Fireball, what was that? What was that? Dude, dude, super questionable. All right, Real Deal's trolling, right? Real Deal's trolling. He definitely wanted the starting position. I'm calling it. I'm calling it. He wanted the starting position. That was questionable. I'm watching you, Real Deal. So it's going to be Fireball taking the win, Real Deal second, uh, Opix third. We're going to have... Wait, is that Vulcan? Wait, what is going on? So there's Vulcan, and then there's Hunter. I'm confused. What happened? <laughs> so after that first race, um, it's going to be Fireball taking his second win of the tournament. Um, and Vulcan uh, pulling a classic Vulcan, having to go. So he's going to cheese out, and Hunter's going to hold on to his lives there. So Vulcan's going to be eliminated from the... I guess I'll do a Tribe of Spoken. I don't... I mean, it's kind of a kind of a lame one, but, you know, I guess we'll do it. Here you go, Vulcan, you average-ass racer. Y'all, the tribe has spoken. Get him. It's time for you to go. Apparently Vulcan's Asian. Yo, Mad Dog. Alright, it's going to be Shift, Slaunch, uh, Detail, and Luke in this one. For our, for our next heat. Wait, what the hell? Alright, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that, was, that was actually a really good use of the dog emote. Um, green flag. So I would say the favorite in this one, I mean, it's no secret, the favorite in this one to lose a life is definitely Shift. So this is tough because with the situation with Vulcan leaving makes it a really weird scenario because he's just, you know, he's just kind of like eliminated. Um, and, uh, and the rest of those drivers, uh, especially Hunter, gets lucky um, in that second heat. Whereas in this first heat, these drivers are sticking it through. They're sticking it through the tournament, and one of them is going to lose a life. So that is a little bit tough, you know? Like, if you're Shift, you're thinking, why couldn't I be in the second heat? <laughs> like, it's just unfortunate. And un unfortunately as well, Shift already, before the end of the first lap, is going to be going to the back, so... It's going to be tough for him. He's going to have to try to bring it back. Oh, big contact. Yeah, that's that's not good. Let's see how this goes. Oh, definitely a better job. Definitely a much better job. Detail going to be getting the pass there on Slaunch. And he's going to take the early lead here at Targaryen GK. <laughs> going to try to going to try to win the home track, I guess you could call it. Got <laughs> to bring this one home for the Dragons. Um, Slaunch going to be trying to make a move there in second. And a really nice gap between this top three here. Also, Yertle, a uh, shout out to that, uh, I love that uh, little uphill uh, hairpin that you took. I appreciate that. <laughs> it is a solid uphill hairpin. One of my favorites. Very well utilized. Aw, oh, Slaunch, a little bit of contact on the inside that's going to open up the door for Luke to make this move in second. And now that is going to put Luke into second place, and this is going to help Detail out because he's just going to be kind of running away with it um, in first. And Sorry, Yertle, I'll check the chat in a second. We got a, we got a round 11 alert on the side, so I just want to see this round 11. I'll put the chat back up. So Detail's going to have a strong lead here. Shift, unfortunately, pretty far back. He will probably end this race losing a life. Slaunch and Luke still pretty close here, second and third.
So I'm just going to try to work the inside of that oval turn into the chicane. Nice run. It's going to come down to this downhill. This Ned Camber, tough one. Luke's going to run it rough that time. Slaunch runs it really rough as well, but they they both run it really bad. And Slaunch is going to take that second place back. We're seeing a really good battle here for this second place position. <laughs> and it's, uh, the other positions are going to be kind of separated, but at least we get one battle here. That's always nice. It's nice to have it's nice to have one battle per heat to look at, even if this one doesn't really have any stakes behind it. Oh, Luke with a potential run there on the tree chicane, but just gonna get a little bit of a run. Not quite able to make a move or anything. Gonna kind of peek to the inside. Slaunch tried to block it, but a little too late. So now it's gonna be side by side. What are they gonna do in the chicane? Luke's gonna back off. Try to set it up in the downhill. Oh my God, Rex just won. How does this downhill go? Luke has another nice run. Gets on the inside of Slaunch again. And they go back and forth three laps in a row on that Ned Camber. All right, Yertle, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Very appropriate. I, I think I know what that was a response to. Very appropriate emote usage. <laughs> I like the, uh, I do like the waterfall over the sign. That is cool. That's, some, that's something that I didn't really notice until, like, spectating it. So Luke and Slaunch still pretty close for a, a really good second place battle here. Probably, probably so far one of the better back and forth battles that we've seen throughout the tournament. The interesting thing about the Elimination Tournament is that some of the battles, some of the best battles that you get in the Elimination Tournament is once you get down to, like, five drivers. Th those are usually some of the best battles that you get. Um, in these elim tourneys, when when it's a lot of people early on, it tends to separate, and um, you know sometimes you get those really hot battles for like one that I can remember is actually ironically um, the one where Slaunch got eliminated um, uh, in the last elimination tournament at uh, at Dillion. Like that was a really intense early elim tourney, uh, like lives on the line battle, and sometimes you do get those, but not always the case. It depends. It depends. It, it kind of depends on the draw too. You know, like, depending on, like, how, which drivers get put in which heat, like, that's a pretty big factor, too, that I think gets kind of overlooked. Because there, yeah, with the random order, there can be some really stacked heats, and, you know, there can be some heats where nobody's in jeopardy um, of getting eliminated, and then there can be a heat where, like, three people are. So, that's also a big factor. Keeps it interesting. But that's what the Elim Tourney's all about, just surviving it, whatever comes your way. I would imagine that we're getting close to the end here, maybe two to go or white flag here. I wasn't sorry, I wasn't paying attention at the start of this one. But yeah, you can tell detail running the home track here. Gonna try to bring home the meat for the dragons and call it a day here at Targaryen. Um and pick up his third win of the tournament as well, which is gonna put him back in the lead uh for the win counter here for a second limb tourney, but really close off the start. We have a lot of drivers with wins already. So we're keeping it pretty competitive so far. The way he's running it, that's a pretty solid line right there. I think this might be the last lap. Why is that line so long? Um, <laughs> I just noticed that. I don't know why. It never really stuck out to me before. And I just noticed it at that time. I'm like, what the hell? All right, maybe this is white flag. Maybe this is white flag. Unless my timing is just way off. Oh, nope, that was it. Okay. He just went a little farther. So, Detail here, going to take third win of the tournament. Luke going to come in second. Slaunch in third, and Shift. Oh, Jesus. There we go. <laughs> Shift going to be losing his first life of the tournament. And yeah, that's unfortunate. It's like I said before, if, if Shift got put in the, in the other heat, I think he would have had a better shot. But the heat that he got dealt here was just that was just not it that was just not it like that's not what he wanted and uh definitely not what he needed either he was he was gonna be quite the underdog there in that second heat i guess fireball also had to leave around the same time so yeah great great plays guys um so fireball had to dip out and i guess we're gonna hit him with that uh the good old ban mad dog the tribe has spoken oh it actually is mad dog <laughs> What? All right. 
Uh, we're cheesing that one out. And uh, here we are. We're going to be moving on to Adesanya GP. So let's go through this order here. We got Hunter, who, remember, got <laughs> Hunter got kind of blessed with his lives last round. And Vulcan's racing again. Vulcan. This is confusing me now. Um, and then we have Detail and Real Deal. We're going to get the lights. All right, you're, do you know what's going on now? Now I'm confused. <laughs> like, what? And green flag. Oh, also, I. This is gonna be a fresh one for me, um, because I was uh, I was in the bathroom um, when this race was going on, so I didn't get to watch this one. I kind of watched it, but I not really. All I got to see was you guys crossing the finish line because I was trying to get out. <laughs> I was trying to get out before my race. I didn't expect the race to come up so fast. So right off the rip here, it's going to be Hunter trying to hold on to that lead detail, already putting pressure behind him. Going to try to get that lead as well because what we've seen work pretty well for detail is get the lead early and then try to try to extend it off of that, try to get in the lead early and try to build it. That's what he's going to be going for here. That That's... Is that another... That is. How does she have the best emotes? That's actually dumb. It wasn't a potty, though. That's why it took so long. <laughs> Alright. See if Detail can work something here up in the chicane. Hunter goes a little wide. Maybe forget, forgot the track right there. Oh, he comes back, though, with the fat block. And that is going to make things interesting. That's going to buy some time for Real Deal to get back into this battle. If Detail could have got by him right there, it could have been curtains. Vulcan holding up the back. As we're going to go down the first lap, it is actually going to be Hunter leading us down initially in this race at Adesanya. And remember, um, I believe, I don't remember where Hunter finished. Did, did Hunter finish like top five at Adesanya? I have no idea. I do remember, I'm pretty sure Detail finished second, Real Deal was third. So they should be strong here. Vulcan, I think Vulcan raced this, but I don't, I, oh, Hunter. Oh, Hunter. <laughs> that was a pretty big crash. Um... But I don't, yeah, I don't recall where they finished. I don't even know if Vulcan raced this one. I think Hunter did, but it's hard to remember at this point. Vulcan getting after it, too. He really wants the spot on Hunter. Trying to take advantage of that huge crash right there. And it's going to be a close battle as well. So we have two close battles on track between both drivers. Looked straight out of fat. Yeah, it did. That would be a good, like, be a good, like, edit flip. Um, it's going to do, like, a crash comp or something. Actually, I'll have to say, I had a pretty funny idea. I don't want to, I don't want to give it away. But I, I had a pretty good idea for the tournament um, that I could do. Hunter's still going to be holding on to that third place. Oh, yeah, we got to add that. So that'll be, so I got to get the gift of Targaryen, and then I got to get... You gotta make a list of the things I gotta get from this tournament at this point, because there's probably gonna be a few, honestly. There's a few few pretty good things. There are two laps. Is it two laps down or three laps down? I'm lost. Few laps down. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's three. Um, Detail is gonna be holding on the lead. Started to extend the, uh, extend the gap a little bit on Real Deal. Real Deal's still looking for that first win of the tournament so far. And I think, ah, oh, this must be it. This must be it. Wait, what? This must be it. So this is where Vulcan has to cheese out, I think. So we're going to be saying bye-bye to Vulcan. I already did the Tribe of Spoken for him last round, right? I'm pretty sure I did. So we're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, Vulcan's going to get conked. And um, we're going to have to say bye to him officially right here. Which is going to technically like bless Hunter again. <laughs> because it was getting kind of close. So now that's going to secure... So pretty much like, oh, detail with the spin. Are they? Are they calling it? I think they might be calling it. Is that why? Oh, dude, I'm actually pissed. So, all right, let me just do this real quick so I can cut it out of the video. So, uh, so it's going to be Detail first, Real Deal second, and Hunter third. That is how that first seed is going to end up going. Okay, so the reason why I was so late is because I had to take a fat yit. <laughs> and that is, I was like, I was like, you know what? If this heat goes normal time, I'm good. I'm good. There's no way I'm not going to get back in time. And then I'm looking at my phone because I had the stream pulled up on the side and I see like the second heat lined up like three minutes early. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I thought I had plenty of time. So here we go um, with the second heat. 
It's going to be Shift, Opix, Slaunch, and Luke. And is this another... Is this elimination potential, right? It should be Shift, elimination potential here. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, so let's get on with this heat. And again, like, if I was going to make a prediction here, I would say that Shift is probably going to get eliminated, but who knows? Something crazy could go down. We'll have to see how it plays out. But uh, if I yeah, if I was gonna make a prediction, that is that is what I would say is probably going to happen. And green flag. What was that start? Oh, so to explain that start there, um, they must have not hit the red button or something before hitting the start again. So the lights like stayed green, and then shift was like ah lights, and it didn't hear the sound apparently because it makes a sound. So. Opix and Luke and Slaunch were all paying attention to the sound and all went and Shift did not, so that is why he was off to such a slow start. So not a great, not a great uh, start to um, his uh, efforts of trying to stay alive here. But uh, I mean, I guess there's still time to recover, right? Right. Kind of have a similar scenario of what we saw for a little bit last race here, where the two um, sets of drivers have separated into their own little battles. Looks like Luke's going to take the lead there on Opix, and Shift is just trying to hold on to that spot from Slaunch. I'm sorry, that, that Shift impression was definitely in bad taste. It was pretty accurate, though, right? <laughs> I feel like even he would say it was. Coming, coming down here to the final, uh, the final section of the track. And going down here for our first lap, it is going to be Luke holding the lead, Opix second, and Shift, right? Shift, yeah, Shift is still holding on to third, so a little glimmer of hope, perhaps? <laughs> can, can we, oh no, Slaunch took it, never mind. <laughs> so unless Slaunch pulls a Hunter here and just has a Vin Diesel crash, there's probably no chance of Shift coming out of this one to survive the tournament, but... Uh, Oh, it, I was going to say, it might even be Shift with the one with the with the crash. It, it's probably chalked here, but we'll we'll, uh, we'll keep our eyes out, see what happens. I remember Adesanya, um, I remember this being like a really, I feel like the lead battle got intense for a couple laps, um, from, from what I can remember, but other than that, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe like a fifth place battle here or there. I feel like this was a pretty spread out race. Um when we race it in season 10. I mean, obviously it's been a while and I don't have like perfect memory of it, but I just, I feel like, I feel like these heats are kind of pretty well representative of what it was like, um, with the bigger pack. I, I remember it being really spread and, and, and kind of like what we're seeing right now. I want a brownie. Well, that was kind of random. I mean, I'll take a brownie. Dude, I should, uh, I should send you this, uh, this cake that I'm having. It's kind of cool. I don't know what it's called, but it's dope and it's freaking good. It's not brownie level, but, you know, it's solid. Prin likes it. <laughs> Prin likes everything except for, uh... What does she not like? She loves spaghetti. I don't know, that's a weird thing, but, like... It, spaghetti is, like, very clearly her favorite food. Like, she just gets a bond every time she sees it. And then... She doesn't like, uh... She doesn't like eggs. That's what it is. She doesn't like eggs, for some reason. She, they, like, gross her out. She, like, gives him a little sniff, and then she just backs off. Shout out to the mid-race Prin lore. I bet that, uh... <laughs> no one was expecting to get some Prin lore here. Um... <laughs> uh... In the elimination tourney replay, but, uh... You never, you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what you're gonna get. Alright, more Prin lore. Um, my other Doge... Uh, had a... Had a little, like, a little, little, like, chip out of his, um, out of one of his ears from a, from a fight that him and Prin got in. And he was never, like, Prin's kind of a botch, right? Like, I know it's kind of a meme, but Prin is actually a botch. And, um, so basically what always happened is that, like, she'd want to fight because she's a botch. And uh, <laughs> our other doge was just, like, really nice and he just didn't want to fight. So he ended up getting conked a few times. And, um, <laughs> there was one time where... She took like a little, a little like chip out of his ear, and then like from that point on, you could tell like there's just a little, just like a small bit missing because of Prin, uh, because of Prin botching him. 
There's your second dose of Prin lore. Shift got huge gains. Well, I would. Uh. <laughs> that 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 looks like huge gains right there. <laughs> unless unless it's too late. Maybe it already happened, or or does this happen like here at the end? Slotch is also um he's also gaining on on Opix, so we could see a little battle there for a second as well. It looks like first and first and fourth place. This is kind of kind of reminding me of that Targaryen heat actually. First and fourth place are kind of chalked, um, but second and third still could potentially see a little switch up, which at this point is really for starting position. Um, like realistically, if you're if you're Slaunch and you're playing strategy, right? You you really don't want to take that position off Opix, but uh, you know you'll see. Oh. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> wait. Oh, Shift is going to hit the NOS. Look at this. Shift activates his shortcut. Little bit of Mario Kart here. Um, little known fact, actually agreed with Real Dill before the race um, that he was going to have a shortcut card to activate at any point in the tournament. He's going to use it right there. He's going to make fat gains off of it. Potentially try to put himself back into this battle, but unfortunately that shortcut bonus may not be enough as he still has quite a bit of a gap to go um, Between him Slaunch and Opix, so it may not be enough unless Slaunch and Opix. They're getting kind of close oh, There it is Slaunch makes a mistake The shortcut bonus could work out here if shift can keep it up. Does he have another one? I'm not aware of that. We'll have to wait and see if he has another one up his sleeve I don't know. Maybe he'll pick up a blue shell help him out a little bit here Although that would be on the leader, so I guess it wouldn't really help him out <laughs> at this point. Um, second place, still between Opix and Slaunch. And it looks like, I think at this point, like Slaunch is making some more gains on him again, but at this point he's probably chalking it, he knows that... Uh, he knows that it makes sense strategy wise. Like we really don't need to go for that second place. Come on, shift, hit the shortcut. Ah, ah, that could have been big. That could have been big. He should have went for it. This may even be the final time around. Uh, oh, come on! I wanted to see the fat. I wanted to see the fat drift. All right, so coming to the line. Who's going to be taking the win, and second is going to go to... There we go. Oh, yeah. And Opix will hold on to second. Slaunch coming home with a third. And Shift, despite utilizing his late race shortcut, unfortunately going to come home short in fourth, and we are going to see Shift... Oh, yo, for his freeze frame, should I take one of him cutting the track? <laughs> so, unfortunately for Shift, did everything he could to stay in it, but it's gonna be it for him. A long vote, Mitchell. The tribe has spoken. It's time for you to go. See, we actually got a good one right there. I don't I don't think that guy actually looks like Shift, but I feel like that guy could look like Shift.